Fishing News is brought to you by a band of anglers, Yozori, Humminbirdman Coda, Lamaglass, and Navionics. Well, it's been an interesting week since uh, we last talked between developments in the coronavirus and Tom Brady announcing his departure from the New England Patriots, all of which has really sent life as we know it here in New England into a tailspin one form or another. Um, and as I was shooting the video last week, some fishing shows were canceled already. Some were intending on proceeding, others were in kind of a wait and see mode, but now I can officially say that all of the large uh, uh, fishing trade shows scheduled in New England for the 2020 fishing season, or winter season, excuse me, including the Northeast Fishing and Hunting Show in Hartford, as well as the New England Saltwater Fishing Show in Rhode Island, have been canceled. They are all off. Uh, primarily, uh, they were they didn't have a choice. Uh, most of the states decided for them that they were not going to proceed. But nonetheless, leading up to those official announcements, we here at the Fisherman Magazine were, were already kind of evaluating how we were going to be handling um, the remaining shows here in New England and uh, with precautionary mentality in regard to ongoing concerns over the coronavirus. Well, with the shows done, we now have a special no-show promo offer, as I mentioned in last week's video, for those of you who had planned on seeing us at the remaining shows in Connecticut or Rhode Island. Effective as of last week, running through midnight on March 22nd. Anyone who purchases a subscription online at thefisherman.com and enters the promo code NORTHEAST, N-O-R-T-H-E-A-S-T, all lowercase letters, will receive $3 off their annual subscription rate, that's for a one-year subscription, and we're going to mail you a free gift. We're going to send you out a free 8-inch Savage Sand Eel Lure. Now that's the lure you were going to get if you had come out to see us at one of these upcoming shows, so we're still going to be able to get it out to you. Um, now this promo is is limited both uh, by supplies, which we're running tight on already, as we've been we've had it going for about a week now, as well as uh, duration, meaning it ends this Sunday at midnight. So hop on there right now, go to the fisherman.com subscription page, and take care of that one year. Again, you get a three dollar off uh, immediately for entering the promo code Northeast, and you will get a free eight inch Savage Sand Eel lure mailed out to you. And one last thing, just gonna let you know, it's gonna take two, three weeks at least to get these all mailed out. So um, just sit tight, we'll get it right off to you and hopefully you'll be able to put it to good use in short order. Now, of course, in light of all these show cancellations, you know, a lot of tackle shops and party boats and four hires and everything, they all attend the shows, as you know. And a lot of them run special deals at the shows. With the shows off the table, they're running in-store or, or promos themselves for the coming days. So when I was calling this past week, putting together the fishing report for you, which of course is posted right now at thefisherman.com, um, I was also looking to see if any of the shops in particular were, were running any, sh any promos. So here's what I came up with so far for you. It's a good list, but we're going to bang it out get, so we can let you know from Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, what we got going on for now. Of course, if you've got any other uh, any information, any other promos, feel free to shoot me an email at tlipinski at thefisherman.com and I'll help pass the word along. So starting off down in sou southwest Connecticut, Fisherman's World in Norwalk is running discounts in store on Avit Reels. They're also offering a free Yeti Rambler with the purchase of select accurate reels as well as certain Loomis rods. They get a buy three, get one free offer store wide on all in stock lures. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ask the guys what's going on locally on the trout management areas. Uh, or trout manager lakes like here. I'm, I'm actually in old Lyme here today My son's doing a little fishing at Rogers Lake, which is still open this month. It's a month It's a special trout management lake and of course ask the guys at Fisherman's World what they what direction they can point you in regards to the Housatonic stripers because that bite has been pretty good Moving up the coast Black Hall Outfitters is planning a double event with their March Madness and their Spring into Fishing sale and event, both taking place on Saturday, March 28th at each of their two locations in Old Lyme as well as in Westbrook. Uh, you can test out the new Sportsman Series kayak from Old Town at the Old Lime Star Store. Excuse me. Get a first look at the grand prize kayak for the Fisherman's inaugural Coastal Kayak Clash. Uh, now, it's not. We're not giving away the boat that they have at the store, but it's the exact same model. So you can actually hop on one of the kayaks and test out that awesome new Minn Kota setup kayak. I saw them zipping around a couple of days ago. They've got them ready to roar. And then they've also got over at the Westbrook store, they're planning a big sale also on the 28th. They're going to have manufacturer reps, special promo offers in store, food, and of course, fun for all. 
and then move it up the coast. Uh, let's see, River's End in Old Saybrook. I stopped by this weekend to pick up my uh, van stalls that were in for service. They're a local authorized van stall service center, so real happy to have Q take care of them for me once again this year. And I was talking to Joe uh, about a handful of different things, and of course, the first thing I asked him was, what is going on with Striper Day, which is scheduled for April 4th? He confirmed, for the time being, he is still planning on proceeding with the event. So far, uh, I'm planning on being one of the featured seminar speakers. There's also going to be in-store sales and specials, manufacturer reps, food, the whole deal. Uh, of course, stay tuned. Um, as we get closer, we'll let you know if it is still proceeding. But as of right now, April 4th, <laughs> Rivers End does intend on proceeding with their annual Striper Surf Day. Uh, let's see, heading on up into Rhode Island. Heard from the guys at Snug Harbor Marina, and they're holding an eight-day in-shop sale. Now, the event is going to run from March 21 through the 29th, and they'll be open every day during this duration, excuse me, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, you can expect much smaller crowds than you would have seen had you visited the Rhode Island show to see them, but they have some big huge deals going on. Just as quick sampling, they got discounts on rods, combo specials, raffles, half off items, buy four, get one free specials on select terminal tackle. And of course, as they said, they will have plenty of hand sanitizer for everyone. Um, and if you're looking uh, to load up on some canal goodies, uh, Red Top Sporting Goods up in Buzzards Bay, they always run their annual spring sale. Um, that's going on March 14th to, through the 22nd. They were talking they might extend it at this time. I have not confirmed, but at least running through this weekend. So stop into the shop. They got some awesome deals like 20% uh, off rods, 20% excuse me, off all plugs on their famous plug wall. The thing is massive, so that is an awesome deal to get you started for the season. Um, they've got buy two, get one free offers on, spe on selected hooks. 20% all in stock soft plastic. That includes the hot canal items like the Joe Bags gear, um, uh, Savage gear. Uh, you can get a, buy a brand new Vanstall VR VSX. You get a free power knob. They got a ton of other great deals. So check out their Facebook page. They've got a, a flyer posted there with all the particulars. And then last up on my show, uh, my shop special list for today, uh, our friends at Tomo's Tackle up in Salem. They're running a, a bunch of really good deals that are, are available in store, online, and over the phones. Now, first off, on their website, you got. 15% off everything store wide on in stock items. Just enter the promo code show season, all one word. Um, but on top of that, they've got some really good deep discounts on a ton of stuff plugs, squid jigs, sabils, um, terminal tackle, inshore, offshore lures. Each of those sales has a particular specific promo code. So go to their Facebook page and you can get the complete list details on what promo code it needs to be used and what that provides for you to enter at checkout if you do it online or if you call the shop and one of the things that they're they are doing is it, at the shows. Obviously, a lot of the, a lot of times we go to the shows, we like to get a hands-on, first-hand look at a lot of the new gear. Well, for those of you that aren't local, they're offering a special uh, opportunity, so to speak. Give them a call at the shop. They can set you up with a. a they'll do a Skype video, so they'll show you first-hand any of the products in stock that you want to check out. Really cool offer from the guys up at Tomo, so be sure to check that out. Again, all the details on it you can find in the uh, Facebook post. That's Tomo's Tackle. Okay, <laughs> now let's say you hit up one of these shops and you want to put it to good use. There's a lot of options for you as well. Um, it's pretty much what we've been been seeing the last couple of weeks. You know, striped bass and holdovers. We've got stock trout. We've got um, Largemouth bass. Like I said, I'm here at one of the trout lakes in Connecticut with my son. Great way to spend uh, uh, an hour or so. Uh, I know he's off from school. A lot of a lot of your kids are as well off from school. So for the time being, fishing is still on the table. So get out, get them in the fresh air. It's a beautiful day today. I know Friday is supposed to be pushing 70. Another great opportunity. But nonetheless. Talking about trout fishing, it's been really good where the season's open. Uh, Massachusetts, here in Connecticut, we've got special select water bodies that are open. Um, heard from Dave Bocas, he took his kayak out in Massachusetts over the weekend. Uh, he sent me a quick little video to let me know how he did. Thank you, Toby. Coming at you today from my kayak, where they've been doing a lot of uh, trout stocking in Western Mass. Mostly in Eastern Mass, but they're making their way out here. I uh, checked out the website, come to find out. One of my favorite spots was on their list. 
So here I go. I got up, got up bright and early. It was, uh, I don't know, 37 degrees when I got up. I feel like it's probably about 45 now. Been fishing for a few hours. Uh, all I managed to get was a good size largemouth and one stocky rainbow. I'm trolling Thomas Boyant and floating Rapala. And not much else to write home about. These guys over here, you can see the power baiters in their lawn chairs fishing it up. You know, I've been out here for hours, but I can never say it's a waste of time being out in nature like this. Good, gorgeous day out. Full blue sky. Happy to be out. Uh, these guys over here, a couple of guys in a 12-foot and a 14-foot little aluminum boat. A lot of people getting out and enjoying the weather on this fine Sunday afternoon. Um, so I've been, I've been around this lake quite a few times and I just don't think they're ready to bite yet uh, they've been stocking like I said everybody's aware of that but I, I think it's uh, just a matter of time before the water warms up and uh, the fish start biting you know still a little too early but uh, I'm getting stir crazy so I thought I'd get out and see what was going on that's what I got for you today thanks a lot Toby Awesome. Thanks a lot, Dave. Um, I just want to, one quick update on Dave's video. He sent that to me and then short, then the next day he sent me a follow-up text. He just wanted to let me know that even though in the video he said he saw fish, he saw guys out there, didn't do really well, he went back the next day and absolutely slammed the trout. And he said, only real change, excuse me, a bug zipping by, only real change that he did, he changed over from darker lures to brighter um, and he did really well. He said he was throwing a black and yellow Panther Martin spinner and also a white and yellow Thomas Buoyant spoon. Now that Thomas Buoyant has absolutely become one of my favorites on the trouts. I'll be throwing it in a moment here. So another good opportunity for you there. Um, also, I got word from Jack Tibbins. He's a member of the Black Hall Outfitters fishing team. Uh, he's been doing really well getting out fishing a lot lately on the freshwater side of things hitting his kayak in some of the local lakes for largemouth bass and he's been doing well pretty much on everything he's been throwing including uh suspended jerk baits jigs and even some fish on chatter baits now of course as kind of expected this time of the year um the the bigger jigs slowly fished along the bottom have consistently been producing the best fish for him but he's really been getting fish uh as well as all the guys at the bho uh fishing team on most everything that they're throwing so uh check those guys out you stop by one of the shops or hit up their special sale in a couple of weeks and get more details on where they've been fishing hopefully as well as what they've been throwing and then last up this week got a bit of a regulation update for you um, as you know we've been talking about it for I don't know a year now longer what have you striped bass regulations are changing for 2020 while not all of the regulations have been signed into law to make them official. As of April 1st, they're gonna be. Um, some, so if it hasn't been officially signed in, you're still running on last year's regs, but I compiled a complete list from Maine to, to uh, uh, North Carolina, excuse me, with every single state broken down for what their recreational striped bass regulations are going to be for 2020 and beyond. You can find it right now at thefisherman.com, but in short, all ocean fisheries for the entire stretch of the coast are fishing on a one fish bag limit with a slot limit of 28 to less than 35 inches meaning if it's 28 29 up 37 point uh, excuse me 34.999 just shy of 35 inches you can keep it hits 35 or above it's got to be released the only coastal ocean fishery that has any sort of a modification is or adjustment to that is in New Jersey as they top out at 38 inches. But everywhere else, 28 to 30, less than 35 inches, one fish bag limit. Of course, there's slightly different regulations for different bay fisheries, riverine fisheries, and so on. Uh, some of the states also have certain open and closed seasons. So of course, be sure to check out the post or check out your local state uh, uh, fisheries website, verify, confirm what the specific regs are in the water you choose to fish at that moment. But if nothing else, as of April 1st, these all go into effect. We're gonna be fishing on new regs in 2020. All right, well, there you have it. It's a lot of different stuff going on this week. A lot of shows, of course, as I said, have been canceled, but nonetheless, it does not mean that fishing is canceled. Fishing is perhaps one of the best things that we can get out and do right now, and be sure to still 
visit your local tackle shops. You know, most of the regulations or limitations right now request that no one uh, uh, get together in larger groups. Five, ten is fine. So hit up your local tackle shop, spend your money locally, and eventually we're all going to get through this. But until then, if you head out the fish this weekend, wishing you tight lines as always.